connect it is connected to the laptop and then we have design unit now in design unit we need to find the com port it's using so we go into the knitting we choose a shape and we click ok it's telling you it's 40 by 40 but first you have to do your swatch so you said ok and then you go into knitting machine which is under option you go choose your machine which is a silver reed sk840 and you go to setup and right here you can see the connect the serial port number when i open it it was on number two now on your computer you have to go in device manager go in the port and see where your usb adapter is connect in my case is connecting the com port so i went into design init and i put four and i click ok don't click find silverlink 4 you won't find it as we use silverlink 2 you click ok if there's more item that you use like color changer uh, start with color or more than four tension use for feral or needle selection use a feral there's a whole bunch of option option for you there to do in my case i have nothing else so it's okay okay and then you go and you tell him to start knitting and the connection so it's telling to turn it on and then do your 20 needles on the left 20 needles on the right and make sure your needle cams are properly installed on the back of the carriage on the machine itself so you click OK he says it's detecti detecting silver link 1 or 2 and is ready to knit now I have to go back down because I did a few rows already so it's ready to knit OK it's detecting and I'm going on my machine I'm doing one row and it's a weaving pattern so I can show you that my needles are working. The carriage is on the right and you can see the needle selection is going and I have no problem with the concept. Alright, let's start this. So from scratch, you go and open design init. You go interactive knitting. You open a stitch pattern. Let's see if we find one which has a cushion, diamond. Multi stitch. The design in it doesn't have any basic stitch, so there's a tuck stitch. Okay, 40 by 40. Okay, so you have 20 stitch on each side of your machine. 20, 20. You put it on ready to knit so you go and fix your machine to go 20 on each side and your carriage on the right so carriage on the right with 20 20 so 20 20 and you have your little magnet your cam lever cam magnet on each side and your machine is ready to knit and it's you put it on tuck stitch as it is a tuck the stitch we are doing. Then you go and tell that you're ready to knit. It's telling you that little message to connect everything, make sure everything is on and the magnets on 20 and 20. And the needle one cam is not required, which is the center cam on the SK40. 
is detecting and come forth and then you're ready to knit and it's going to give you a message first row and I come back there you go give you that message when it's not sure that everything went fine it says is it okay to move to the next point cam and you can say okay you can look at your knitting make sure everything is fine and if everything is fine you just click okay and as you can see it's moving the carriage on the other side where your carriage is and you can keep knitting let's keep moving then it's doing it again so once you see this and you're sure that your carriage is knitting properly all the stitches right place you can simply go don't show me this again and I assume that everything is moving fine so you can do that and click OK and that message won't show up again if you want to leave it there and keep just saying OK OK each time you can leave it that way and then you can look here leave this row incorrect and continue correctly with the next one so it's going to keep going or you can tell him yes put the carriage on the right before closing this dialog and knit this pass again so like you unknit the pass and then you need to go back so you unknit and go back and you can use this one and you can simply stop knitting altogether it says okay I need to, to fix some stuff this thing is not working right so in my case everything is working fine and I'm tired to see that message I'm just going to show don't show me this message again and keep knitting so he's putting the carriage on the right and I can keep knitting without seeing that message popping up again and I'm going to show you that all the stitch are actually going as you can see the knitting go